Now, some of you may know that the M3 CS harks back to a legendary model from the noughties. That's the E46, which some of us absolutely adored. But today I'm here with Ben because we've spotted that this one is on Cinch and it's the new car. And just like that legendary E46, this CS plays second fiddle to a CSL model. But we think this might actually be the better one to buy. Compared to the stunning E46 of the noughties, which spawned both the hardcore CSL and slightly less extreme CS, today's G80 M3 only gets the CS treatment, leaving its two-door sibling, the M4, to rank top with full coupe, sport and lightweight honours. Unlike the E46 generation you see here, my god has it aged well, there is no M3 CSL anymore. But I don't care, because in Britain, where it rains and most households only have one car, an all-wheel drive CS with four doors is going to be much more useful year-round than a two-door car that can't put the power down in winter. And it's not like you trade on aggression. Just look at the thing. It looks absolutely amazing. Pretty much in every corner, every single line, every single aero piece, even the wheels, and even those massive brakes all look very, very racy. And as you can see here, it's the same engine as the CSL. So a 550 horsepower, three litre straight six. It's got this massive strut spanning across the bonnet. This means that it adds extra strength and the engine is so big, it even has to duck underneath. And then look up and you've got a beautiful carbon fiber bonnet, which doesn't have any holes in for ventilation, but that's okay because there's huge nostrils at the front that help suck the air straight into the engine. And you may be wondering about this badge. This badge commemorates 50 years of BMW M performance. And you also get a little red lipstick around the side and the M3 CS badge, just in case you forgot where you were in. And you're not going to mistake these brakes for anything other than a high performance BMW. Look at the size of them. Those are six piston calipers. And obviously look at the wheels as well. You've got 19 inches up front and 20 at the back. And this particular car comes with the optional Cup 2 Michelin Pilot Sport tires, which means they're really track ready and definitely not right for this kind of weather. Oh yeah, and there's absolutely no forgetting that this is the CS because you've got carbon fiber everywhere. There's carbon on this mirror here, which gets the standard M3 fin on its edge there. And also there's loads of carbon fiber on the roof. It's delicious, but this car's only 10 kg lighter because it gains so much in its weight loss, if that makes sense. Look, more carbon fiber. And actually there's even more down there in the diffuser. It's a proper diffuser and you'll spot there are much bigger exhausts as well. This CS makes a lovely fruity sound. It's louder than the standard M3, but that doesn't have to come at a cost to practicality, not least when it comes to your boot, because you've still got a proper boot. You've still got a lot of space back here. There's no more strengthening bars in your way. And you've also got your battery for the car stored under here, under the boot floor which helps with weight distribution because those are heavy items. So having it at the opposite end to the engine means there's a bit more balance, which bodes well for handling. What also bodes well for handling is the suspension setup on this car. It gets a stiffer setup than you get on the standard M3, but it's adjustable. And Ben's gonna show you how when we jump inside, but crucially what matters is the fact that it's still comfortable in the softer settings, but when you firm it up, this thing rides like a track car. And while a lot of the interior is shared with a standard BMW 3 Series, you do get some nice differences. So you've got this lovely Alcantara steering wheel, some lovely carbon fiber panels. I mean, you've got carbon fiber everywhere. Steering wheel down here, you've got a nice little CS reminder down here. And the infotainment system is broadly the same, but you do get some key differences. If you press setup down here, you've got this whole system here where you can set up so you can change the engine, chassis, steering, brake, and most importantly, X-Drive. So today like today, you want four-wheel drive, but you can switch it to two-wheel drive, which is a nice little thing. And M-Traction Control has 11 different settings, which you just wouldn't get in a car 10 years ago. That would be GT3 levels of that, really cool. Still, if that looks too complicated, rest assured that the M1 and M2 buttons on the steering wheel are shortcuts to your favorite settings. And look at these seats, carbon-backed bucket seats, Lovely CS logo, but there are two things you might want to worry about. Tickling hands from kids and the occasional groin injury. Ooh, at least backseat passengers have a decent amount of knee and leg room, thanks to those slim carbon chairs. And while headroom for plus six footers like Ben is snug, it's fine for everyone else. All right, all right. I think this is a great looking car, but it's definitely not as pretty as that E46 M3 CS. And of course that car got that manual gearbox, but as far as year round and extreme M3s go, well, surely this has got to be the best thing going. Isn't that right, Ben? Oh, those seats.